You know, I had came to the conclusion that I wasn't even going to do a review for La Brea Season 2. But now I decided that I'm going to do um, the review. And for y'all that don't um, know what La Brea is, it's a um, TV show on NBC. Um, and I'm going to give a whole gist of what it's about. I'm look at the uh, synalysis and read it to you. It said, when a massive sinkhole opens up in the middle of Los Angeles at a site of the La Brea Tar Pit in Wilshire Boulevard, hundreds of people, vehicles, and buildings are pulled into its depth. The survivor find themselves trapped in a primitive land where they have to band together to survive. Show follows one family who are separated by the events, attempting to reunite. The father has visions. Um, providing a glimpse of when and where his wife and son are. The sinkhole suddenly appear in the terror tunnels, has attracted the attention of Homeland Security, who are studying a similar event in the Mojave Desert. As the series progresses, the investigator realizes the sinkhole provides a temporary portal to the same location in 10,000 BC. Meanwhile, the survivors struggle to find a way back through the portal before it closes. I now, at the end of the season, season one, um, they f finally, um, after trying for so long to get um, Isaiah through the portal, which Isaiah is young Davin, trying to get him through the portal, they finally did get him back to through a portal in um, 1988. Uh, this episode picks up, and it's called The Next Day. It picks up after the event of that, um, the finale. And I'm sitting there looking at a synalysis of the episode because I watched the episode and I sit there and forget everything that's going on. And it started out with um, Sam and Levi. They were interrogating Silas, which is, which is Gavin or Gavin slash Isaiah's granddaddy and they um trying to find out where's they trying to find the whereabouts of uh, what is his name Josh and uh, Riley and doggone Sam he going crazy talking about what my daughter is he ready to whoop Silas he doing all this and he he, he just he just is um going crazy because he trying to find out where Riley his daughter is and um and Sam he trying to keep Pika he done fell in love with one of these native from 10,000 BC Payera and her people he trying to keep the peaks you know and they were bringing they bringing on all the survival food and stuff you know and um uh, Sam, he done pulled down Silas out in the wood, put a gun to his head, and Silas, him being the dog on the cool cat, the smoothness that he is, he done told them about that all uh, Audrey's done took Scott to this dog on big glass building. And they like, glass building in 10,000 BC ain't no possible way. Yeah, yeah, ain't no possible way, y'all down here. Y'all down here, there ain't no possible way. I and though Eve and Levi set out on the on the trail to find this place, and they ran into Lucas, who Lucas is bearing his mama, who they had this beef throughout the whole first season, and they finally reconciled, and then his mom got killed, so he done um he done dug a grave for her. And you know he was crying with Eve and all that. And see, then they set out together. Then they witnessed Veronica. Uh, and uh, last time you see Veronica, she got wounded by a bear trap, and she being hauled away by these dung on um, by these. I said, look like old timey. Warriors, but look like they from the new day, but they got on some old time warrior stuff that they done created and they got machete and stuff. And Dungon Lucas got the attention why 
and they went over there and helped um, Veronica and, and Don go, <clears throat> and they finally got her. And Don go, they sent Veronica and um and Lucas off, and Don go, Eve got captured. Okay, and. And then they go back to Gavin and Izzy and Ella, and they said they planning to walk 20 miles a day from the Seattle sinkhole or whatever wherever they went into the dung on um, the sinkhole, let them go to Los Angeles. D this episode is crazy. I, that's all I got to say. And then dung going Gavin is going to hunt. Cause they all hungry and dung on this woolly rhino no get at him and dung on they just uh, and the woolly rhino no stopped for a minute and when he reconnects with Izzy and Ella they were walking and he just looking back he said what and dung on Ella telling him man whatever you were looking for one now a while ago he let them know this dung go on. This done gone woolly round the way. It's tracking us, you know. And done gone, yeah, it's tracking them too. And done gone, they come across the Hollywood sign because um, in 1988, which I'm going to get down to another sinkhole and open up in Hollywood. And this is going to brought the Hollywood sign back in the 10,000 B.C. Okay. And Don going to just continue. She continued to lead um, Scott to this Don on glass and steel tower. And Don going to, she warned him that, you know, um, that the people in the tower want her dead. And Don going to, she take him to this place. And it looked like a little puddle of water, and she opened up a rock and hit a button, and they carried, it opened a stairway down. And that was the end of the 10,000 BC time period. Now, here, here comes the time with um, 1980s, where Josh and Riley at. They walked along this, um, this old time they rode. I mean, this paid road, and they see an old tiny truck, and Josh thinking it's a dog on they probably in the 1950s. Um, but then a nice car came by, and dog on you can see these look like old timey frat kids, and uh, they said this most definitely when a cassette tape come out, the dog on one, they said this most definitely a dog on uh, the 1980s. Um. Uh, then they witness um Isaiah and Lily getting picked up by some nun, which Lily is uh Veronica's kidnapped sister. Veronica the one who um uh, stepped in the bear trap, that's her kidnapped sister. She went into the um dog on the portal to nineteen eighty eight. With um Isaiah, and they getting picked up by some nuns. Um, and Josh figures since he still exists, that everything is good. His daddy, Isaiah slash slash Gavin, is gonna get um uh, adopted, and that's how he gonna be born. Um, they go into this house, and they done gonna open. They said how his parents told him that nobody locked their doors in the old time, which is true, cause my grandma told me. And Don gone, they eating up, eating up the food in the full house. Found out the folk gonna be going on vacation, um, for a whole week. And then they on uh, look at a newspaper. The newspaper, um, sell sinkhole open at the Hollywood sign in 1988. Okay, so I sent there and told the whole analysis of this episode. And how did it start out? Okay, let me think. It wasn't as action-packed as the season one premiere, but it still has some good stuff going on. I feel like 
everyone is established. Now they had to establish them in season one. And this was a pretty decent episode um from the connections. And easy easy. She's still looking good. Um I like the part in this episode where they was discussing how the woolly rhinos can't really see. They um get around by hearing and Izzy which has one prosthetic leg her leg is sitting there the wood is shattering in it and she ain't tell her dad and Ella and Dago she gets there right when they ran into a two woolly rhino and her leg just shattered and she just instead of her being quiet she's dad dad uh, uh, my leg and now he done just told them them he done just told her the woolly rhino cannot see but they hear and i'm just sitting there is you crazy is you crazy but doggone, she was still looking fantastic in this episode. And the episode was, um, I said it was, it was good. And I can tell it's going to be a um, doggone love triangle between Gavin, Eve, and, um, between Gavin, Eve, and Levi. It was kind of showing you know the love triangle in season one because when gavin was having those visions didn't nobody believe what he was seeing and all that so it was a love triangle then and like i said after don go on after eve got captured gavin go no i'm not gavin levi gonna go and stand out there in front of him so they can capture him like a stupid nut. But this episode was pretty good. And I would say out of a 10, I'll give this episode an 8. It was a real solid season premiere. Um... I can't wait to see what this season has in store and what y'all need to anticipate on is coming up next week. What's that? No, coming up Sunday. Y'all need to anticipate this review for Interview with a Vampire. Oh, I've been waiting on this show ever since it got announced. But I I ain't gonna get into this today. Episode season two, episode one of Librarian. I give it an eight out of ten. And I will see you when the next episode comes on. So like, comment, and subscribe for more. And peace.